everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something a little bit different because I've been paying attention, you know, I always look at which videos get a lot of views, which videos seem to garner a lot of interest, and uh, which ones I get a lot of questions on even months or years later. So what I decided to do was just something a little bit different, and that is to revisit some products or reviews that I've done in the past and see if my opinion on them is still the same or if it's changed. Let's get busy. Okay, first off, I'd like to give a call out to Horizon Daily, a new subscriber to my channel. Welcome, sweetie. And let's see here. You say, new to your channel, watch the first video, and you have an unusual request. Would I mind talking about my profession as an author and the content I write? And yes, I would be happy to do that. Um, I just let you know that I'm not sure if I'll do that on this channel, but I will be starting a second channel where I, because I get a lot of questions like this about, you know, my profession and what I do and such like that. And so I've been talking about starting a second channel where I can just be free for all, where people can ask me whatever they want. So thank you very much for your interest though. And I will be talking about that because a lot of people ask about it. So, and welcome. I hope you enjoy what I have out here. <laughs> Okay, so today, let's get into the product we're going into. We are revisiting by Terry, and this is the Terribly Denseless Primer and Concealer. And the reason I decided, I'm going to take out my iPad here just to look at the video real quick. And I will put a link down below and up in the cards here if you're interested in seeing the original video was published on March 20th, 2018. So we're going back a full year. And this video actually received so far 989 views, which is pretty high for my channel, especially considering a year ago I only had 400 or 500 subscribers. So, you know, it's it's pretty high view content for my channel. And also, the reason I decided to revisit this one is because to date, literally, I am still getting questions on this video. Do I still like the product? Uh, you know, all kinds of, just people are really interested in knowing, do I really like this still? Does it really work? So you know what we're going to do? We are going to go through and I will try and use all of the same products I used in the original video and let's see whether or not I still like by Terry terribly denseless primer and foundation and of course I'll be using the concealer as well and the powder. Now, okay so let's zoom in and get started. Okay first off I'm gonna start off with I'm still using this I'm telling you guys this is by Becca uh, this is what the box looks like and this is called the anti-fatigue under eye primer and I again I'm using all the products I used in the original video and you can see I've more than hit pan on this. I keep talking about the fact that I need to buy another one and I still haven't. What in the world? <laughs> Had part of my mask on my face still. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my under eyes and we'll get going from there. I'll tell you you guys this I cannot brag enough about this under eye primer. I've talked about it in countless videos. It is a product I wholeheartedly believe in it not only tightens up my under eye area, but it smooths it out so beautifully so that when I apply product, I don't have stuff sinking into lines. It, it's just, it's such a lifesaver. It really is. And I also apply it, you know, it's called under eye primer, but I also apply it to the tops of my eyelids here. Uh, and it just cuts down on texture and everything. I just love it. Really quickly, again, using all the products I did in the original video, this is by Terry's Lip Scrub. Mmm. You wouldn't think you'd like the taste of rose, but boy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
and then I'm also going to use her lip stylo in the uh, Balm de Rose. And yes, all these years later, I am still using all the Balm de Rose products. And I've been using these for, oh my lord, the lip scrub and the lip stylo. I think these were new last year in that video. But I've been using the original Balm de Rose in the pot for years. Look back on my videos, you'll see them there all along. I love them that much. Okay, let's see here. So we're going to start with a primer. Just to tell you a little bit about this. This is, again, these are all by by Terry. This is the Terribly Denseless Primer, and it says this trailblazing anti-wrinkle primer harnesses exclusive denseless technology to deliver the powerful age repair and firming benefits of a serum wall, so doubling as a colorless corrector. Mimetic Factor works to ramp up collagen and fibroblast turnover to fill in wrinkles and strengthen the skin's density. Flawless Time Control Soft Focus Complex provides sheer light reflecting coverage to visibly correct even the, deep, the deepest wrinkles, smooth the skin's microsurface and reduce imperfections, guaranteeing results even on age damaged skin. And this sells for $118 and you get one fluid ounce. So in the original video, I only applied it to half my face. In this video, we're just doing full face. And it does come in a glass bottle. And there we have it. So you can see it's, you know, it's got some good, uh, you know, it's not real watery. So let's get this on. Very moisturizing. God, I love this. Oh, if you have dry skin, this is an absolutely beautiful primer. Not only is it incredibly moisturizing, but it just feels, oh, on the skin, it just feels incredible on my skin. And wow, look at the difference already. Holy cow. Wow, I'll tell you one thing, um, right off the bat, this side looks incredibly smooth. There is, uh, I did a mask right before this, so my pores are very much open right now, and it blurred my pores here big time. I mean, here you can still see all my pores, and here you can just barely see a little bit of them right here has just a this is a beautiful primer it really is it has smooth you know I talked about you know in that original video the difference between a primer and a pore filler this is a primer uh, meaning that you know its sole purpose is not just to fill pores but to do a you know it has a lot more benefits that it gives the skin and this one really does I hope you guys, I'm going to zoom in so you can see this. I'd like you to pay attention to especially this cheek area right here and right at my nose compared to this side. I mean, it's just, my skin just looks smooth here. And my pores are not only filled in, they're blurred, like I said, except for a tiny bit right here I can still see. On my nose, it's the same thing here. It, it blurred and filled in my pores. Wow. I'm telling you, I hope you guys can see that. Okay, let's apply to the other side of my face and then we'll be on to foundation. Okay, there we go. Both sides primed. And already, look at the difference here in my pores. That's amazing. I mean, for a primer, remember, this is not a pore filler. This is a primer. And, I mean, look at the difference and how smooth my skin looks. It just it absolutely blows my mind. Honest to God, I think this is probably one of the best primers I've ever used. Uh, it, it's moisturizing, it plumps the skin, 
It definitely has a diffusing effect on wrinkles. Without a doubt, it has a diffusing, blurring effect on pores and skin texture. Uh, just absolutely beautiful product. It really is. It may be $118, but I think it's well worth it. I really do, you guys. And I am, if, if you watch back on my videos, you'll see I have not been a big believer in primers, but this one, this one's got me. <clears throat> Moving along now to the, again, by Terry Terribly Denseless Anti-Wrinkle Serum Foundation. And here's what it says about it. The firming power of a luxury anti-aging serum meets foundation that looks like second skin. By Terry Terribly Denseless Anti-Wrinkle Serum Foundation targets fine lines and wrinkles on two levels. Blurring the look of rough texture and uneven skin tone instantly while firming and smoothing skin over time. Exclusive Denseless technology stimulates the production of collagen to give skin a bouncy, radiance look and feel. The weightless serum formula wraps skin in a flexible, natural looking coverage that moves with you from morning until night. And this also is a hundred, actually, this used, I think this used to be 106 or 118 as well, but the price now says 116. So I know this was the same as the primer, so I guess she's lowered it a couple dollars. And it is a, it's one ounce as well, same in the glass jar. And let's see how many shades this comes in. Looks like it comes in 13 shades, so there's not a huge range in this. Okay, and by the way, both of these obviously come with pumps. I want to try something a little different here with application. Uh, I'm going to try again with the same brush I did before, which is the Morphe E6, which is just a flat top kabuki. I'm sorry I keep looking at my screen instead of the camera there. Forgive me. And then um, I have my beauty blender, of course, and then... One of my friends here on YouTube sent me some beautiful things, including this uh, Viseart palette, which I'm or Viseart, which I'm really anxious to play with. But she also sent me this microfiber sponge. Really, really interesting. I think these are by Juno and Company. Thank you, Heather. Mwah. You guys will see that in an upcoming video. Anyway, so I thought I'd give this a try on half my face and see. This is so unique. Really feels weird. Okay, so let's try first half the face, and here's the, you can see it has some, you know, it's it's got a little run, but it's more thick. So let's try this half of my face first. I'm going to try this over the top of it real quick. Oh, this is such a unique feeling, the sponge. Oh my gosh. And I want to try just and build it up on my cheek here a little bit. Okay, so there is left side applied. I would call this a light medium buildable medium. I don't I don't think you're gonna get a full coverage out of this, but it sure is beautiful. Okay, let's try on the other side with a sponge. Okay, I really think that this foundation applies beautifully with a sponge. I mean, it just, oh, yeah, I definitely like, I got a smoother, more even coverage. Uh, on this side, I had an issue with some brush strokes going on that I then had to kind of 
weasel out with a sponge and that kind of messed things up a little bit but uh, now let's try again just a tiny bit and I'm gonna just try and build right here on my cheek yeah this is a beautiful foundation you guys Honest to God, you know, I know it's an expensive foundation, but I'm I'm just so surprised more people are not talking about this foundation, especially women my age, because this is truly a beautiful, the foundation and primer together are absolutely incredible. Now, following along with what I did in the other video, I'm going to use a tiny bit of my Giorgio Armani High Precision Retouch just right here under my eyes and on this inner part here where I have the darkest from a shadow, not much of anything else, but we're going to do it. And this is an incredible color corrector. I've been using this for years. I really don't use anything else to color correct. And you see here, I'm just going to do it on one eye this time on the top because every time I do this I say, oh, I should have showed you guys. Because I want you to see the difference this makes. It's highly pigmented, but the formula is very thin. So it's not like my putting this on, you know, my upper eyelid area here is going to cause a bunch of buildup because it's not. This is an incredibly thin formula but I want you to see the difference it makes and this formula here and the color of it pretty much neutralizes that blue just like it does under my eyes it does the same on top now hopefully you can see like if you look at this eye not only can you see a lot of red along my lash line here but you can see all the veins running through my eyelids and if you look at this eye here it's toned down considerably and you can see underneath my eye there too it did the same had the same effect so that's why I love this product because it has such a thin consistency to it that I'm not building and building and you know stacking layers of product on top there now see that hopefully you can you know picture the difference from what it was before where I had that you know a lot of red along the lash line and all those blue veins going through and it makes a big difference really does I just love this product and it does come in several different shades so if you have darker skin than me I believe it comes in four different shades okay now let's move along to the terribly denseless concealer and it says shouldn't your under eye concealer do more than just cover by Terry Terribly Denseless Concealer combines the wrinkle smoothing power of a luxury cr eye cream with the lightweight luminous coverage of a concealer. Exclusive Denseless technology plumps and firms while soft focus mineral pigments blur the lines of look of blur the look of wrinkles, fine lines, dark circles and puffiness. The weightless formula slips over skin and locks into place with a demi matte finish giving you a bright, lifted look that lasts all day. This is $69 and you get 7 milliliters or 0.23 fluid ounces. And this has been one of my favorite concealers. As you can probably see there with all the holes through it, it is almost gone. And I've been using this concealer for probably, oh, I guess I would say two years now. I really, really like it. I just wish she would come out with more shades in this. If you have dry skin like I do, and you have wrinkles under your eyes, wrinkles above your eyes, etc., etc., this is a concealer you absolutely need to try. And I know, oops, I know $69, you're probably thinking, are you crazy? $69 for a concealer. But I'm telling you, this is a beautiful product. Absolute beautiful. And it never, ever, ever dries out my under eyes. Does not age me. Does just the opposite of my opinion. 
And like always, I'm just patting it out real quick here just to smooth the product out and get some of the moisture out of it. And then I'll go over it a final with a beauty blender. Okay, I'm going to go to this powder, even though I know it gives flashback because I love it in combination with this so much. I'm hoping that if I use it with a really, instead of packing it um, with a sponge, if I use it with a light brush, if I won't have as much of an issue. Okay, so, boom, here we go. This is again by Terry. This is the Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. If you've been on my channel for a while, you've heard me talk about this powder countless times. God, I just wish it didn't have flashback, but it is a beautiful powder. It, if you've ever heard the word moisturizing and powder together, no, you haven't. But with this, it's true. This is $60, and it says, a true cosmetic innovation. This colorless, microfine, hyaluronic acid perfecting powder can be used day and night after foundation or skin care. It erases blemishes and blurs fine lines, giving skin a smooth matte finish. Whipped hyaluronic acid microspheres immediately fill all pores and small surface imperfections to provide perfectly smooth skin. Its fluffy sheer veil finishes and sets makeup without drying out your skin. That's very true. It says for best results, use your hands or a brush to warm up the loose powder before applying it to your face. Apply by patting onto zones in need of correction with fingertips or apply all over the face with a complexion brush. That's interesting. I've never seen that where they talk about applying it with your fingertips. We're going to give it a try. It is an incredibly, and I don't know if you can see that, but it is just, woo! This is probably the finest powder I've ever used. Okay, so I'm just going to go right under my eyes here and get all the, make sure I don't have any concealer hanging out where I don't want it. And I'm going to take this brush and just very lightly, God, I love this powder. It is so beautiful. If only they could create this. Maybe I can get away with, like I said, doing this and not having the flashback. I mean, look at the difference of my under eye there, you guys. Look at how smooth this looks compared to this. Can you see that? I mean, it is just amazing to me. This looks all just perfect smoothed out, whereas over here, uh, this looks even blurred. Just amazing. Okay, now let me do the eyelid. I'll tell you, from the minute I found this powder, I was just in love with it. Now, I'm also going to take a little bit of this, tapping it off very lightly, just right here on my pores, and really lightly dust it all over. I, want you, I just want you guys to see the difference this powder makes. It is incredible. There we go. Now, I really hope you can see this, but if you look at this side of my face, starting in the under eye area, going down over my cheek, look at how smooth it is in comparison to this side. I mean, it's just, even on my chin down here, the texture, this is my worst spot is my chin here, and you can see I've got like a lot of just, you can see the wrinkles and texture down here on this side, whereas right here where I put the powder, it's blurred out. Above my lip on this, same side, same, same deal, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, you can see the blurring effect this powder has. Now, I'm hoping that you guys, I'll zoom you in as close as I can while I do this side and I want you to hopefully be able to see this because this is amazing. Okay, first my under eye. Mm. 
Now my eyelid. And now the area with pores here in the cheek, nose and wrinkles. And down on my chin. You see that smoothing on my chin already, you guys? Remember what my chin looked like on this side? Look at it now. I'm telling you, you guys, this is a miracle powder. I don't, I, I just, just blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. Now again, I'm putting this on very lightly. I used to use the sponge <clears throat> and go under my eyes with it, but because of the fact that it does cause flashback, I'm not doing that anymore. But if you remember just a moment ago, I showed you guys the difference between the chin, my chin down here where I'd done the powder and where I hadn't. Now look at that. I mean, it's just abs, and look at the smoothing effect it had on my under eyes, on my cheeks, everywhere. My wrinkles, look at the smoothing effect it's had on these big, you guys know, if you've watched any of my foundation videos, you know these big, huge smile line wrinkles I have are my bane of my existence, that and my hollows under my eyes. Look at how smooth everything looks after I applied a very light coating of that powder. Now, many of you know that Charlotte Tilbury has a powder that is one of my favorites, and that's the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Love that powder. But for a loose, uh, translucent setting powder, in my opinion, there is no better powder on the market than this one. Uh, I just, and I'm talking for, you know, mature skin. This is the container it comes in. It lasts forever. Uh, it may be $60, but I assure you, unless you're pounding this on your face, you know, and wasting enormous amounts of it into the air, it will last you a long time. I bought this, I think, this is almost a year old. I bought this back in, I think, June of last year. So, and how long does this last? six months. Well, screw that. <laughs> Clearly it lasts longer than six months because look at what it's doing to my face. Look at the smoothing effect it had on my face. Now you guys remember, for those of you that are new, I am 50 years old. I just turned 50 in January. I obviously have significant wrinkles. I have, I've lost the filler under my eyes here. I've got significant smile line wrinkles, I've got significant forehead wrinkles, and I have dry, dry skin, okay? I don't think there is a combination of products that I have used on my channel that are more beautiful, that are more stunning on my skin than this combination. That is the primer, the foundation, the concealer, and the powder. To me, that is an absolute win. Let's just put it this way. It's going to cost you a couple hundred bucks to, well, let's see, 118, 116, 60, and 35. So yeah, it's going to cost you, what, 300 bucks to get into it. And, and I'm not, I want to tell you this right now, this is not sponsored by Terry, has no idea who I am. I am a little peon channel, uh, even if it was a sponsored video, which it's not. I am always going to be honest with you guys, and I'm telling you, out of all the foundations I've tried, and I've tried far more than I've posted on my channel, this is the best. There, there's just no question. And combining it with the primer, beautiful, beautiful, combining that on top of that with the concealer, and then finishing off with a powder. Look at my skin, you guys. I mean, all you have to do is look back at any of my foundation videos and compare it to this right now. I haven't done anything different to my skin except for the products I'm using, and look at what my skin looks like. I mean, even look at my forehead, which has enormous wrinkles in it, okay? 
my my belief in these products do I like them yes absolutely I think if you are somebody that is starting to have problems with wrinkles you have dry skin uh, you've got imperfections that you you know that you want to diffuse out and you want to use a product that's not going to dry you out but it's going to diffuse this is your magic combination right here get the primer the foundation the concealer and the hyaluronic hydro powder and I'm telling you if you apply them just like I did you guys just watched I didn't do anything special look at my skin look at what it's done to my skin I mean, I have some major imperfections, you guys. I have major wrinkles here. And my biggest problem is all these foundations I try with, I mean, the last one, what was it? It Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact. By the time I was even done applying it to my face, it had built up in my smile lines. This is not doing that. You see that? It's not doing it at all. Look at that. nada and you know why all I can say is there are many times in this world where you you get what you pay for and clearly the chemist that by Terry has working for them they've really put together a beautiful grouping of products here because to me when I look at this and I see that I have no migration into those wrinkle lines at all that tells me I'm dealing with a foundation that has a lot of flexibility to it, but it binds to the skin. But in binding to the skin, it's not then tearing apart when, you know, my mouth's moving around and my eyebrows are going up and down and such. It's staying there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So primer and foundation are a win. Hands down, I still love them. I love them even more today than I did a year ago. Concealer I've been using all year. You guys can look and see that. Uh, and I love it. And same with this. This powder to me is the best loose powder I've used to date. I, I just, it's that simple. I mean, I know that's a big boast because I've literally used, I mean, probably close to 100 loose powders, if not more. This is incredible. It smooths out my skin. I mean, you guys saw it. Look at this just amazing look, look at how smooth my skin looks look at how smooth and and blurred out my pores under eye this whole chin situation it's just beautiful okay so for now what I'm gonna do I'm since we're doing foundation test basically again I'm gonna go ahead step away now go do my finish my makeup off all my face makeup and such and my eye makeup and I will come back for a quick check-in and then a check-in at the end of the day and we'll see how this held up so see you then bye okay I am back real quick with a check-in I finished my makeup and it has been a long process because I had a few issues. <laughs> so just kind of ignore the thing I got going on in my eyes because my eyes just didn't want to cooperate today. So anyways, it is now 5.30. So I have actually had this makeup on for five and a half hours. And I still think it looks beautiful. The only thing I put on my face, just as an FYI, was the Anastasia Beverly Hills powdered bronzer in the shade Rosewood. That's all I have on. Now after five and a half hours on this side right now in this smile line here I am seeing a little um, collection. Not very much but a little. It's there. You can see it. This side there's none. 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 And this side, it's minor. Uh, my forehead, again, very minor, but it's there. There is some collecting in the deep wrinkles on my forehead. My chin still looks really good, which is usually gone to shit in a handbasket by five and a half hours. And my cheeks, in my opinion, look beautiful. I don't even think it's really worth coming back for another check-in because I kind of got my opinion on this one, but I'm going to do it for you. So <laughs> I'll be back at the end of the night. We're going to leave this on. I'm going to let this go for my goal is 12 hours. 
but we shall see. I'll see you soon. Love ya. Hello everyone, I am back for my final check-in and please excuse the mess that is my face, my eyes in particular, because for some reason my eye, not my eyes, my eye has started watering and she's just not gonna stop. I'm at the 10 hour mark right now and I guarantee I tried to put my lipstick back the same as it was, but who knows if that's the same, but if I keep going the way this eye is going right now, there won't be any makeup left in two hours. So, you know, you guys, I just have to tell you, I think that in terms of, <clears throat> excuse me, do I think this is worth the price? Yes, I do. And, and you know that, I was thinking about that over the last several hours. And, you know, because when you're talking about over $100, I mean, that's, you know, that's a lot of money. But when I think, you know, and, and I was thinking, is this worth it for people, for me to recommend to you guys? And what I do is, you know, when it comes to luxury products, I hold them in a much higher standard than I do drugstore, certainly, and even high-end, because you're paying a lot more for the same amount of product. I'm gonna wanna see performance in that that not only rivals what I've tried before but surpasses it. I'm gonna wanna feel that performance rival and surpass basically everything when I'm talking about how it looks on my skin, how it feels on my skin, how it wears, uh, the longevity of it, all that has to meet and exceed my experience with other foundations in order for it to be something that I would consider a good value. And considering how much product I had to use too, I take that into account because like for instance, if I'm recommending a foundation that's $100 but you have to use five pumps of it each time, you're not gonna get very much value out of that. Whereas like with this one, two pumps did my entire face. So, um, you know, there's a lot more value there for the money in a one ounce bottle. You know, you're getting a full ounce in each of these. But what really kills it for me is how it looks on my skin. I mean, you know, I didn't used to have problem skin. I would say my early 40s is when I started noticing wrinkles and, and some texture issues and I started losing the filler under my eyes. Prior to that, I mean, I, I never had anything I had to worry about with my skin. Um, I had what they called peaches and cream or porcelain skin. I had, you know, I had no flaws on my skin. I mean, I, I was blessed with having very pretty skin. Um, you know, that's what people always complimented me on. Out on the streets, modeling, whatever, people always complimented me on my skin. And now, because of the effects of, you know, just age on my skin, even though my skin, I think, is still in really good shape for my age at 50 years old, there's things I'd like to improve upon that bother me, like these wrinkles, like the texture of my chin, the wrinkles on my forehead, and the lack of filler under my eyes. Those are areas that really bother me. So when I put a foundation on, I want to see it detract from those areas and attract the eye to other areas. And in my opinion, this combination of products does that. When I put the primer on, the primer smoothed my skin out beautifully. It blurred pores, it moisturized my skin. Um, and by the way, excuse me, <sighs> Brie got me sick. Yeah, as if, you know, I wasn't sick enough in December with that crap. Now I've got crap again. So excuse all the sniffing and plugged up sound. Anyway, so the primer to start with was gorgeous. I mean, it just, it, it did everything it said. It plumped up my skin. It filled in my wrinkles. It filled in pores, which I don't recall it saying at all, but it certainly did. And you guys could see that in the video, I hope. Uh, it just made my skin have a glow and a healthiness to it that I, I just don't see with any other products. Then I added the foundation on top of that. The foundation didn't cling to my skin weird. It, it almost just adhered to my skin, locked in, 
and stayed put. But it wasn't, it's not heavy feeling. I mean, I literally don't feel like I have foundation on at all. I didn't have to build up a whole bunch of it. I didn't have to muck around with it a lot. I just put it on, stamped it on, boom, bang, done. And what I really like about this foundation is it does not migrate. I mean, do I have a little bit here? Yeah, and that one. This is my deepest smile wrinkle here. There's a little bit up here. This side, none. No, not a bit. Do you know when the last time was I put on a foundation that I didn't see any product buildup in that wrinkle? Uh, I, I don't think I've had one. Honest to God. You know, they say it has a flexible technology to it. No question. No question it does. Because my face is going to put it to the ultimate test because I have a very expressive face. I raise my eyebrows all the time. I, I just make faces all the time. As I'm sure you guys have seen. So my face puts a foundation to the test. Then we moved on to the concealer. The concealer has nice co a nice medium coverage. I would consider these all medium coverage products, by the way. Uh, the concealer has a nice medium coverage to it. It's very moisturizing, but it's not heavy and thick feeling under the eye. My eyes do not look dry and aged and, you know, they just look nice, it wears nice, it feels nice, everything. Then we move on to the powder. Now the powder, I just highly recommend, if you use the powder, do not put on thick layers of it with a sponge, because if you do, and you take a picture, you will have flashback. That is the only downside to that powder, is that it does have flashback. But I did try it, and I posted a picture actually on Instagram, and I took a photo with flash. Now, in using it the way I did this time with a very, very minimal amount in a soft brush that I just kind of went over my skin with, it did not flash back. So I really think it's a concentration issue, but I guarantee you if I put this on with a sponge and pack it under my eye to bake the under eye area, and I take a picture, I'm going to have white here. Oh, anyways, but it's a beautiful powder, my God. Bye, Terry, if you ever see this video, please, oh please, oh please formulate this without flashback because I would love to be able to bake with this powder. Outside of that, using it the way I did this last time, it, it you saw what it did to my skin, my God. I cannot remember the last time I put a powder on and had it blur my skin. That powder blurred my under eyes, blurred my pores, blurred my texture on my chin. Hello. I mean, I'm not kidding you guys. And it is still blurred. It is still that way. I mean, look, I've had this on for 10 hours. This is right here. This is it for me. This is the best combination I have found yet, and that is All By By Terry, the primer, the foundation, the concealer, and the powder. This is my magic. That is, that's it, that's my magic. Look at my face. There's no lying what my face looks like. I mean, I, I can sit here and, and blow steam up your ass all I want about, oh, how wonderful this is and how wonderful that is. Look at it. That's all you have to do is look at it. I mean, look at my other videos where I've tried foundations. Look at what my chin looks like. Look at what, you know, I mean, it, it, this is what I would wear if I was going out for a night, if I was going out to an event. If I'm going anywhere, I want my skin to look on point and look natural, flawless, beautiful. This to me you know, even though I don't have, if I were to add a little shine to this, I literally would have like that glass skin effect. If I add a little highlight to it. Because it's just that smooth with what's done. So I, I just, I can keep going and going and going and going. Yeah, get the point. So uh, if you guys have any questions further about these, please let me know. And let me know if you enjoy you know, this kind of hash back on looking at products that were popular on my channel as to whether or not, you know, you want me to continue doing this. I think it's kind of fun to look at something that I tried a year ago and I've aged a whole year to see if it still performs the same, if my opinion's still the same, or if it's changed. And because, you know, that's one thing I've always wondered when I watch 
videos and I hear him say, oh my god, I just love this, I just love this, I wonder, well, do you still love it? You know, nobody ever comes back and talks about later on after they've been using it. Do you still like it? Well, I've been using this now for the last year, and I can tell you this much, I love it more today than I did then. So, that's it. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. Oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> My nose is running now. Lovely. Anyways, we got a lot of fun things coming, so or I should say I've got a lot of fun things coming. I need to quit with the whole we, 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 because I just haven't gotten over the fact that my daughter's not here with me anymore. <laughs> it's so strange. And pretty soon she's going to be leaving to college. Mm, and I'm going to be all by myself. I don't know what I'm going to do, you guys. I'm going to be all by myself. What am I going to do? My son's already flown the coop. And now my daughter's going to fly the coop. <laughs> what am I going to do? Okay, enough drama. I can't believe it's getting that time. I'm watching her little wings sprout and she's trying to flop them and I'm trying to hold them down. <laughs> oh boy. With all seriousness though, I have no clue what I'm gonna do when my last one flies the coop. Besides maybe sit in the corner and go Okay. <laughs> I hope wherever you guys are at in the world, life is treating you well. And if you're having struggles, you're being the bitches back and persevering. Remember, don't give up, don't give in, don't let anyone tell you no. If you have a dream, you set your goals and you go after it. And please remember when you're out in the world and you encounter other people, treat them with love and respect. Because they, like you, have feelings and can be hurt too. Until next time, I love you guys.